jump in, Ref. Help me out. Just that small bump on the forehead and a graze down the neck for Craig McEwen. At that corner. Not as comfortable. And he wants his 11th win, doesn't he, Hilario Lopez? Giving everything he can into this middleweight contest. He's made it to the sixth round, three to go. Now, what will Craig McEwen decide to do? Will he up the tempo again and attempt to force the stoppage? Or will he be happy to box his way home? Well... No one unhappy in the McEwen corner. Freddie Roach was quite pleased with what he was doing. He's not doing anything silly, not being caught by silly punches. The stoppage would be nice. I don't think anyone is too bothered if it doesn't Go come. On. This is a good workout for him. He's having to work a little bit harder to keep Lopez under control. But he's doing it well. Yeah, still being allowed to try a few things out in there. All part of the early learning curve. There's different types of opponents. And they're tough in the States, aren't they? Only his uh, 12th outing. Match them a bit harder. Yeah, well, they've moved them into the eight-round class now. He's coping well with that. He's winning this clearly. So at the age of 26, I mean, OK, time is on his side, but probably some quality matches and they're not too distant future hasn't been busy this year this is only his third fight so maybe at this level you want to see him a little bit busier then uh, sometime next year step up the quality of opposition he's having things pretty much his own way here you don't want too much of that yeah four or five getting through there from McEwen hey, Ray Corona says he wants to see something from Lopez but he is digging in he has been throwing and once in a while, one sneaks through. Hands down from McEwen. Just got to keep solid, keep his mind on the uh, the job. Can't get disorganised now. Seems to be when he turns orthodox, his defences uh, scatter. When he's boxing southpaw, he seems a bit more business-like. So maybe if you're a natural southpaw, stick with that. His hands are up a little bit higher now. Right hand there. Doesn't uh, mind engaging there, McEwen. Yeah, I think you raised some eyebrows on that professional debut that we saw, didn't you, Jim, about the, the switch hitting? Yeah, well, I, I mean, I do have to say that he's really developing well. He was very amateurish the first couple of times. I did see him much more professional now. This is becoming a, a struggle for him. He's having to work hard now, maybe force things a little bit more than he was doing earlier. But well and top, and this is a good workout for him. Another right to the head at the end of the uh, sixth round from McEwen, who's won everything so far. Guts though shown from Hilario Lopez, plenty of that pride. It's just awkward. Just a bit marked up on the uh, the right eye. Not as uh, slick that round, was he? No, but I think the fact that Lopez is just gritting his teeth and decided he's going to see this one out. McEwen has had to work a little bit harder the last couple of rounds to keep him under control. But that's the kind of matches you want to see him in. Yeah, tough competitor, Hilario Lopez. But Craig McEwen, surely on the uh, three judges' cards, will have won everything. And remember, he did get the knockdown at the end of the first round. The third was... I did, he might have scored at 10-8 even. 
So he must be in a handy lead. Barring any uh, last minute hitches here against Lopez, but there's no sign of it. Well, plenty of bounce in his legs in this round. And I mean, this, this could be effective, just not allowing Lopez to get close, moving around, using his feet, showing some angles coming from different directions, maybe confuse Lopez a little bit. When he gets close, Lopez is spoiling. This is, this is lovely stuff. This is what could score the stoppage. Yeah, really good use of the jab there from McEwen. And his mobility too with his legs. I think you're right, Jim. From the southpaw stance, he, he looks a better fighter. Yeah, but I think he is naturally a southpaw. He, some of the sloppy boxing we've seen is when he's orthodox. I mean, he, he's fairly good both ways, but I, I prefer him as southpaw. But this is good now. He's giving himself the room to work that he was maybe lacking in some of the earlier rounds. First signs that Lopez is really beginning to struggle. Oh, yeah, punches going in. And still, Lopez tries to fire back. What a hard man he is. But maybe a, a volley, a big combination. There's still time to get the stoppage. Lopez is beginning to sag for the first time. Yeah, no. body shots as well going in. And an uppercut. Just trying to free the elbows. Yeah, good work here from McEwen. Oh, and a right hand there. As Lopez stumbles. So you can see the difference when he just stands off a few inches and gives himself some room. This has been a good round. For McEwen. Oh, excellent from Craig McEwen. The star quality about him there. Well, he's shown us something different in this round. He's shown he can box on the move, but not boxing defensively. He's attacking, he's giving himself some room. He's using his legs, moving around, coming from different directions. That's lovely work. Yep, he's showing us something else here. Oh, super session from Craig McEwen. And again, Lopez gets through it. That was good from the Scotsman.